What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Holy smokes, I know it's been over a week and a half since I posted a video for that. I apologize. Uh, I do have an excuse. However, my take on excuses are they are like assholes. Everybody has one and they all stink. However, my excuse is for the last week and a half, I have been attempting to stream GTA Online every day until GTA 6 comes out. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to actually do that. I'm going to try my best, obviously. But the point is, I haven't forgotten about you. In other news, I did get the shipment out to Dylan. It should be to his house by the end of this week. I hope he got my email with the tracking number. If not, please let me know, Dylan, and I will send it to you again. I hope that that PC brings you many hours of gaming and joy and photo editing and video editing and streaming and whatever else you want to do with it. Uh, please enjoy. Just remember you need to get a monitor and you need a keyboard and a mouse. But it'll be all right. I mean, that's like the cheapest part of building a computer, fortunately. Now, I don't remember where I left you off with the GTI, but I did finally replace the shift lever that was, no, this isn't it. It's this one right here. So I moved the old shift lever. Uh, this is the back and forth one, I believe. The reason being, there's supposed to be a little nub right here, and that nub is supposed to prevent this part from sliding back and forth and kind of sliding off. I was able to take this thing completely off uh, before moving it from the vehicle. Right? This is the new part that's going to replace that part. On the new one, there is a little nub there. Let me show you. So you see this? This is nice and tight. This is brand new right here. See that little little nub right in there? That is what prevents this from sliding off. Now in the process, I broke the little clip that is supposed to go right here. I broke one of these clips before. I'm not going to do it again, hopefully. Damn it. So now I need to go to Volkswagen and see if they have one in stock. I will do that tomorrow. And if not, I'll order one post haste because I want to get everything back in here and all situated and done with. Now, before I put everything back, I do want to inspect this front bumper. When I bought this vehicle, I knew that there was a slight gap right here. Right? You, that's not right. That's not supposed to be like that. After I got home and upon further inspection, I've noticed that this is not supposed to look like that. So my next step is to take off the front bumper, inspect it, and possibly replace that plastic part that is broken. After that, because I will probably have the wheels off and the front bumper off, it'll probably be a little bit easier to get to the front shocks. So I'll do the shocks. I have the shocks here now. I also have the hardware. Because I'm going to replace all the hardware that goes with the front and rear shocks as well as the strut mounts. So I got some high density strut mounts to go on there. She'll be ready to rock for the track. Still I need to order a rear sway bar. I haven't decided on which one I want yet. But I'll probably do that after the new year. This right here is that little clip that I broke that requires me to go into Volkswagen and get a new one. You know, some people say... If a clip breaks, something plastic breaks, it was probably meant to break. Like, it was probably not long for this world. So, I'm alright. I'm not too upset about it. It just kind of delays me putting stuff back for the time being. Really looking forward to next year and what's to come. Please stay tuned. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. 
you like this video, hit like. Working on your own car is challenging, but it's good to challenge yourself sometimes because that's how we get better. And you gotta remember, get better every day. I'll see you next time. Peace.